Hi everybody, I'm Jeff, and you're watching the skies with VAPI. Well, here we are down in Pocosin, Virginia, where I'm going to attempt to bring you some coverage of the solar eclipse, which is just moments away from beginning. And this is the first one, I believe, that has swept across the country uh, since about 99 years, from what I've read. And there are several different superstitions with it. Uh, some people have said that it's biblical prophecies. Um, but if you actually read a little more into the Bible, uh, I believe it's not biblical prophecy because of the timeline of events it's supposed to occur, and it's a long story. But anyway, that's one of the beliefs. Um, there's another belief that, as far as witchcraft is concerned, that there is more magic in the air during the time of the eclipse that can be used for conjuring spells and such. Uh, another thing that I read is from a guy who did a lot of studies on the subject, and he said during the time of a solar eclipse, there's going to be a lot of UFO reports. Now, a lot of these reports will come from news copters that are covering crowd coverage or crowd gatherings and such, um, and different things that will appear, normally be in the air, but will appear differently during the solar eclipse. So hopefully we'll catch a glimpse of something cool like that too. But nonetheless, uh, what is gonna happen is as the sun gets blocked out, there's gonna be a point where it's supposed to be almost completely dark and it's supposed to get significantly darker here. I don't know if we'll get to see the complete eclipse, but we're going to show you what we can. And I'm also going to show you what it looks like through the glasses. And I'm going to try to show you what it looks like through the solar eclipse viewer that we built last night. So right now we're looking at the sun through some solar eclipse glasses. And you can see it appears very orange. Uh, it's not quite as good on the camera as it is through the naked eye, but this is how it looks through those glasses that are sold out all over the place. So if you weren't fortunate enough to get a pair of those glasses, uh, the other option, as we showed you last night, was to make your own solar eclipse viewer, which is a cereal box where you can look in this side, it will reflect off the white paper that's on the bottom, and as it shines through this little hole on the aluminum foil side. So I'm gonna give you a look inside this box. Now when we're doing this with the box, you want to make sure that the sun is behind you. So we're not actually taking it and like looking up at the sun because we won't see anything. So the sun has to be behind us and you got to get it just right and you'll see a little dot inside the box on the back of the paper. So let's take a look inside this box and see what that looks like. So this is the view inside the cereal box and you can see that little circle on the back that's the sun. And as the eclipse happens and the sun starts to disappear, that little circle will get blacked out. According to one of the reports I read from NASA, supposedly we'll be able to videotape the solar eclipse. Now, of course, we'll get a lot of glare in there whenever we try to show the sun on video, um, obviously. But from what I've read, you can take pictures up with your iPhone, you can videotape with your iPhone, and they don't believe it would cause any damage to the camera. So we're going to see if we can also get some live coverage of this solar eclipse, both looking through the cereal box, um, maybe through the glasses again, and actually what's going on right before the camera lens. And there we have the sun high in the sky. And you can't really see a whole lot happening from this angle. Now looking through the cereal box, it still seems like the sun is whole. It doesn't seem like it's covered at all. So if this is working, um, it doesn't seem to have really started yet, at least not noticeably. So here we are looking into the box, and unfortunately it's very hard to focus on this. If I try to zoom in, it looks whole. But if you can see through the box, you can see the sun looks partially... It's not a full circle. And it looked really awesome through the glasses. Unfortunately, the camera would not pick that up at all because of the glare. And here we are looking through the glasses again. 
very hard to keep it in focus. Well, it's 2.06 p.m. and I do have to say I much more prefer doing things at night because I don't really care much for this heat uh, or the sunburn that I'm probably going to have at the end of this. But as we're observing the 2017 solar eclipse, in approximately 39 more minutes, the sun should be just about blacked out. It should be significantly darker. So uh, I'm eagerly awaiting that point in the eclipse so I can see what happens, see what it looks like, and hopefully be able to get some video of it. So stay tuned. And luckily we have some water out here with us on this incredibly hot day. But interesting, up here on the wall is somewhat of a unique insect. Looks like a praying mantis, only with colors that I'm really not familiar with. So right now, this is about as dark as it's going to get right here in Virginia. And you may not be able to tell as much through the camera lens, but compared to when we first came out here at 1 o'clock, it is significantly darker. And to the naked eye, the area has sort of a weird tint to it. It's hard to explain. Now I do have to say that even now at close to the darkest point I looked through the cereal box viewer that we made and I was slightly disappointed with this thing because as you saw in the video there's just a sliver of sunlight still showing through but on here it's still most of the sunlight showing through it just looks like it's got a little part of it missing so the best way to view these things is definitely with those glasses um, because there's a huge difference and you have no idea looking through this what is actually going on up there it really doesn't put it in perspective for you but it's still a cool little craft to do with the kids and you can still see something happening in there but it's just not as cool as the glasses and here's his good of a shot as we can get inside the box right now. You can see how much of the sun is showing through in the reflection on the bottom of the box. And as the moon passes in front of the sun, we're starting to see a little more of the sun. Slowly getting brighter out again. So there you have it, ladies and gentlemen, the Great American Solar Eclipse. It's about a half hour away from being over, and we tracked it from the very start. And we're going to stay out here through the end of it. But uh, luckily, we were able to get the camera focused and get some decent video uh, throughout the duration of it. Now, you may be wondering, what makes this solar eclipse so rare? Uh, from what we've read, we did a little research on the Internet and found a different, a couple different sources and such. Well, uh, solar eclipse... Solar eclipses tend to happen two times a year. Uh, there's four eclipses a year, and two of those are solar eclipses. Now, it can happen five times a year, which is a lot more rare, and as much as seven times a year, which is extremely rare. Now, for the solar eclipse, it's always got to be during a new moon. 
and it just is the point where the moon crosses in front of the sun uh, on its path and it's a pretty amazing sight to behold. Now what's so rare about this one? Well this one's called the Great American Solar Eclipse because it was a total eclipse that started on the west coast and was view was visible from the west coast all the way across the middle of America um, to the east coast and it will only be visible from American soil so that's what's so rare and from what I read there hasn't been really one of this magnitude since 1918 and even that one didn't quite fit the bill for being an American solar eclipse one that was only visible from one country um, that's what makes this even a little more rare so we're gonna take a couple more shots of the Sun here as it starts to come back in full brightness and the interesting thing what was cool is when I picked up my cell phone and such uh, it was sitting here during the course of this whole eclipse now when we first got out here everything was getting hot in the Sun and I had to put up the umbrella and and uh, shade it a little bit but during that eclipse it was still fairly bright out here as you could see in the video but the stuff that was sitting around the cell phones and electronics were not getting hot at all which was pretty cool it just kind of went to show the temperature difference um, because of the lack of sunlight we were getting for that short period of time so really interesting stuff Now I read that this was supposed to be the most observed solar eclipse in history. Uh, spectators came from all over to come to the path of the solar eclipse so they could get the best view. And I guess it was causing a lot of traffic. Uh, people were running out of gas, groceries, towns were gridlocked, it was hard to resupply. It was quite an event. But uh, hopefully you got to watch it all over the world from just tuning into our YouTube channel and checking out this solar eclipse. Until next time, thank you for watching the skies with VAPI.